Hi, I'm back. I'll be reading our daily bread for January nineteenth, twenty twenty one. Unbreakable faith by X O C H I T L D I X O N. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Because they trust in you, Isaiah chapter twenty six. Verse three. You will you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they because they trust in you. We desire chapter twenty six, verses three to thirteen. You will keep in perfect peace. You will keep in perfect peace those. Whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the for the Lord, the Lord Himself is the Rock Eternal. He humbles those who dwell on high. He lays the the lofty city low. He levels it to the to the ground and casts and casts it down to 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 the dust. Feet trample it down. The feet. Of the oppressed, the footsteps of the of the poor. The path of the righteous is left for you. the The upright one make the make the way of the righteous smooth. Yes, Lord, walking in the in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and 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 were known all all the desire of our hearts. My soul yearns for you in in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. When your when your judgments come upon the earth, come upon the earth, the the people of the world learn righteousness. But when grace is shown to the wicked, they do 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 not learn righteousness. E even in a land of a of a righteousness, they go on doing evil. And do not and do not regard the 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 majesty of the Lord. Lord, your hand is lifted high, but they do but they do not see it. Let them see your zeal for your for your people, and be and be put to shame. Let the let the let the fire resolve for your your enemies consume them. Lord. You you establish peace for us, peace for us. All that we we have, all that we have accomplished, you you have done for us, Lord, our God. Other other lords besides you have ruled over us, but but your name alone do we honor. Bible in a year Genesis chapters forty six. To forty-eight and Matthew chapter thirteen verses one to thirty. Okay, Genesis chapter forty-six. There we go. Jacob, Israel's seventh encounter with God. Genesis chapter forty-six. Israel moved with all he had when he came to B E E R S H E B A. He offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. God spoke. God spoke to Israel in a vision that night and said, "Jacob, Jacob, here I am." He answered, "I am God, the God of your father." He said, "Don't be afraid to go to Egypt because." I will. I will make you a great nation there. I will go with you to Egypt, and I will. And I will make sh- make sure you come. You come back again. Joseph will close your eyes when you die. When you die. So Jacob left. B e e r s h e b a. Israel's sons put the put their father Jacob, their children, and their wives. In the wagons, Pharaoh had had sent to 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 bring him back. They also took their livestock and the and the possessions they had 
they had accumulated in Canaan, Jacob, and all the family arrived in Egypt. He had brought, brought his sons, his grandsons, his daughters, and his granddaughters, his entire family. Family. Jacob, Israel's descendants, Exodus chapter 6, verses 14 to 16. 1 Chronicles chapter 2, verses 3 to 5. These are the names of Israel's descendants, Jacob and his, and his descendants who arrived in Egypt. Reuben was Jacob's firstborn, the sons of Reuben were H-A-N-O-C-H-P-A-L-L-U-H-E-Z-R-O-N and C-A-R-M-I. The sons of Simeon were J-E-M-U-E-L, J-A-M-I-N, O H A D J A K I N Z O H A R and S H A U L the son of a Canaanite woman woman the sons of Levi were G E R S H O N K O H A T H and M E R A R I the sons of Judah were E R O N A N S H E L A H P E R E Z and Z E R A H E R N N O N A N had died and Canaan the sons of P E R E Z W H E Z R O N and H A M U L the sons of I S S A C H A R W T O L A P U V A H I O B and S H I M R O N, the sons of Z B U L U N W S E R E D E L O N, and J A E J A H L E E L. These were the descendants of the sons Leah gave to Jacob, and P A D D A N A R A M A R A M. In in addition. To his daughter Dinah. The total number of these sons and daughters was 33. Was 33. The sons of G A D were Z I P H I O N H A G G I S H U N I E Z B B O N E R I A R O O D I and A R E L I. The sons of our show were I M N A H I S H V A H I S H V I and B E R I A H. Their sister was S E R A H. The sons of B E R I A H were H E B E R and M A L C H I E L. These were the 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 the, the descendants of Z I L P A H. Whom L A B A N gave gave to it to his daughter Leah. She gave birth to the to these children for Jacob. The total was sixteen. Was sixteen. The sons uh, of Jacob's wife Rachel were Joseph and Benjamin. In Egypt, M A N A S S E H and E P H R A I M were born to Joseph. By A S E N A T H, daughter of P O T I P H E E R A, priest from the city of O N. The sons of a Benjamin were B E L A B E K E R A S H B E L G E R A N A A M A N E H I R O S H M U P P I M. H U P P I M and A R D. These were the descendants of uh, Rachel, who who were born to J, who were born to Jacob. The total was fourteen. The son, Adan was H U S H I M. The sons of N A P H T A L I were J A H Z E E L, G U N I J E Z E R. And S H I L L L L E M. These were the descendants of B I L H A H, whom whom L A B A N 
gave to his daughter Rachel. She gave birth to 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 these sons for Jacob. The total was seven. The total number of、uh, Jacob's direct descendants who went with them to Egypt was sixty-six. This didn't include the wives of Jacob's sons. Joseph had. Joseph had two sons who were who were born in Egypt. The grand total of people in Jacob's household who went to Egypt was seventeen or seventy. Or seventy is Joseph and Joseph and Jacob Israel reunited. Israel sent Judah ahead of him to、uh, ahead of him to Joseph to get directions to G O S H E N. When Israel's family arrived in the region of G O S H E N, Joseph prepared his chariot and went to meet his father Israel as soon. As he saw his father, he threw his arms around him and cried on his shoulder a long time. Israel said to Joseph, "Now that I have seen for for myself that you are still alive, I am ready to die." Then Joseph said to his to his brothers and his and his and his father's family, "I am going to Pharaoh to tell him my brothers and my." And my father's family, who were in Canaan, have come to 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 me. The men are shepherds. They take they they take care of livestock. They have they have brought their flocks and herds and everything they own. Now, when Pharaoh calls for you, and asks what kind of work do you do you do, you you must answer. We have we have taken care. Of course, all our lives, as our ancestors have done, you must say this so that you may you may live in the region of G O S H E N, because all shepherds are disgusting to Egyptians. To Egyptians, Jacob Israel meets Pharaoh, Genesis chapter forty-seven. Joseph went and told Pharaoh, "My father and my and my brothers have arrived from Canaan with their with their flocks, herds, and everything they have. Now they are in in G O S H E N. Since he had since he had take, taken five of his brothers with him, he presented them to Pharaoh. Pharaoh asked the brothers, 'What kind of work do you do you do you do?'" They answered, "Farewell. We are we are shepherds, as were our we are shepherds, as were our 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 ancestors. We have come to live in this land for a while. The famine is so severe in Canaan that there is no pasture for our flocks." So please let us live in G O S H E N. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, "Your father and your brothers have come to you. I come to you. All all of Egypt is available to you. Have your father and your brothers live in the in the best part of the land. Let them live in G O S H E N. If they are are qualified, put them in charge of my livestock." Then Joseph brought his father Jacob and had him stand in front of Pharaoh. Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Pharaoh asked him, "How old are you?" Jake, Jacob answered Pharaoh, "The length of my stay on earth has been has been one hundred thirty years. The years of my life have been few and difficult, fewer than my than my ancestor than my than my ancestors' years." Then Jacob blessed Pharaoh and left, as Pharaoh had ordered. Had ordered. Joseph had. Joseph had. His father and 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 his brothers lived in the best part of Egypt, the region of Ramses. Ramses. He gave them property there. Joseph also. Joseph also, provided his father, his brothers, and all his and all his father's family. With food, base 
on the num on the number of children they had. They had Joseph acquires all the land in Egypt for Pharaoh. The famine was so severe that there was no food anywhere. Neither Egypt nor Can nor Canaan were producing crops because of the famine. Joseph collected all the all the money that could be found in Egypt and in Canaan as payment for the for the grain people bought. Then he took it to Pharaoh's palace. When the money in Egypt and Canaan was gone, all, all the Egyptians came to Joseph. Give us food, they said. Give us food, they said. Do you want us to die right in, right in front of you? Right, right. In front of you, we don't have any more money. Joseph replied, if you don't have, have any more money, give me your livestock and I'll give you food in exchange. So they brought their livestock to Joseph, and he gave them food in exchange for the horses, sheep, goats, cattle, and donkeys. During that year, he supplied them with food in exchange for all their livestock. When that year was over, they came to him the next year. Saw, They said to him, You know that our money is gone, and you have all our livestock. There's nothing. There's nothing left to do. There's nothing, there's nothing left to, 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 to bring you except our bodies and our land. Do you want us to die white in front of you? Do you want the land to be ruined? Take us and our land in exchange for food. Then we will be Pharaoh's slaves and our land will be his property. But give us seed so that we, we won't starve to death and the ground won't become a desert. Joseph bought all the land in Egypt for Pharaoh. Every Egyptian sold his fields because the famine was so severe. So severe. The land became Pharaoh's all over, all, all over, all over Egypt. Joseph moved, moved the people to the cities, but he didn't buy the priest's land because the, because the priest receive an income from Pharaoh, and they live on that income. That's why, that's why they didn't sell their land. Joseph said to the people, Now that I have, I have bought you and, and your land for Pharaoh, here is seed for you. Plant crops in the land. Every, every time you harvest, give, give. One-fifth of the produce to Pharaoh. Four-fifths will be will be yours to use as seed for your fields and as food for your households. You have you are saved our lives, they said. Please sir, we are willing to to be Pharaoh's slaves. Joseph made a law concerning the land in Egypt which which is still enforced today. One fifth of the produce belongs to Pharaoh one fifth, one fifth. Other produce belongs to Pharaoh. Only the land of the priests didn't belong to Pharaoh. Jacob's Israel's last days in Egypt. So the Israelites settled in Egypt in the region of G O S H E N. They did. They acquired property there and had many children. Jacob lived lived in Egypt seventeen years. Seventeen years. So we lived a total of 100, 147 years. Israel was about to die. He called for his son Joseph and said to him, I want you to swear that you, that you love me and are faithful to me. Please don't bury me here. I want to rest with my, with my ancestors. Take me out of Egypt and bury me in their tomb. I will do as you say, Joseph answered, swear to me, he said. So Joseph swore to him. Then Israel, then, then, then Israel, then Israel bowed down in prayer with his face, with his face at the head of his bed, of his bed. Jacob, Israel blesses Joseph's two sons. Genesis chapter 48. Later, Joseph was told, Your father is ill. 
Zoe took his two sons, M-A-N-A-S-S-E-H and E-P-H-R-A-I-M, to see Jacob when Jacob was told, uh, was told, your son Joseph is here, to, to see you. Israel gathered his strength and sat up in bed. In bed. Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty, appear to me at L-U-Z in Canaan and bless me. He said to me, I will make you fertile and increase the number of your descendants so that you will become a community of people. I will give this land to your, to your descendants as a permanent possession. So your two sons who were, who were born in, in Egypt, in Egypt, before I, I, I came here, I came here, all my, all my sons, E-P-H-R-A-I-M and M-A-N-A-S-S-E-H will be, will be mine just as Reuben and Simeon are. Any other, any other children you, you have, you have, after them will be yours. They, they will inherit the land li listed under their, under them, under their brothers' names. As I was coming back from P-A-D-D-A-N, Rachel died in Canaan when we were, we were still some distance from E-P-H-R-A-T-H, so I buried her there on the way to E, E-P-H-R-A-T-H, that is Bethlehem, that is Bethlehem. When it, when Israel saw Joseph's sons, he asked, who are they? They are my sons whom God has given me here in Egypt. Joseph answered his father. Then Israel said, please, then Israel said, please, please bring them to me so that I may bless them. Israel's eyesight was failing because of old age and he could hardly see. So Joseph brought his sons close to his father and Israel hugged them and kissed them. Israel said to Joseph, I never expected to, 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 to see you again, and now God ha has, and now God has, now God has, even let me see your sons. Joseph took them off his father's lap and bowed with his face touching the ground. Then Joseph took both of, both of Adam, E-P-H-R-A-I-M on his right, facing Israel's left and M-A-N-A-S-S-E-H on his left, facing Israel's right, facing Israel's right, and brought them close to him. But Israel crossed his hands and reached out. He put his right hand on E-E-P-H-R-A-I and put his head, although E-P-H-R, although E-P-H-R-A-I-M was the youngest son, he put his, his, Left hand on M A N A S S E. But first he said, although, although, M A N A S S E H was older, was older. Then Jacob blessed Joseph. May God, may God in 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 whose, in whose presence my my grandfather Abraham and my father Isaac walked. May God who ha who has been my shepherd. All my all my life to this to this very day may the may may the messenger who has who has rescued me from all evil bless these boys may they be called by by my name and by the names of my of my grandfather Abraham and my father Isaac may they may they have many children on the earth on the earth. When Joseph saw that his father had put his right hand on E P H R A I and put his head, he didn't like it. So he took his father, so he took his father's hand, his father's hand, in order to 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 move it from E P H R A I and put his head to M A N A S S E H but faces. Then he said to his, his father, that's not right, father. This is this is the the the, the firstborn. Put your white right hand on his head. His father refused. 
and said, I, I know, son, I know. M-A-N-A-S-S-E-H-2 will become a nation, and, and, he too, and he too will be important. Nevertheless, his younger, his younger brother will be, will be, will be. More important than he and his dis- and his descend and his descendants will will become many nations. That day he he blessed them. He said, "Because of you, because of you, because of you, Israel will will speak this blessing. May God make you like E P H R A I M and M A N A S S E H. In this way, Israel." Put E P H R A I M ahead of M A N A S S E H. Then Israel said to Joseph, "Now I am about to die, but God will be, will be, with you. He will bring you. He will bring you back to the land of your fathers. Of your fathers. I'm giving. I'm giving you one more. One more mountain ridge." Then your brothers, I took it from the from the Amorites with my with my own sword and bow, and bow. Matthew chapter thirteen. Matthew chapter thirteen verses one to thirty. Good morning, God. Matthew chapter chapter thirteen verses thirty one and thirty two. Jesus said, "The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. This kind of seed is very small, but it, but it grows to be a very big plant." Some people expected God God's kingdom. To 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 begin in a big way with a powerful king. Instead, the instead the kingdom of God began in in a humble way with Jesus' birth in a stable. Since then, the this kingdom has grown greater and greater each day. Aren't you glad to be a part of the growing kingdom? Jesus, thank you for being a great king. A story, a story about a farmer. Mark chapter four, verses one to twenty. Luke chapter eight, verses four to fifteen. Matthew chapter thirteen. That same day, Jesus left the house and sat down by the sea of Galilee. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat. He sat in the boat while the entire crowd stood on the shore. Then he used then he used stories as illustrations to tell them many things. He said, "Listen, a farmer went to 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 went to plant seeds. Some seeds were plant some seeds were were planted along the road, and birds came and devoured them. Other seeds were planted on rocky ground where there was little soil. The plants sprouted quickly because the because the soil." Wasn't deep, but when the sun came up, they were scorched. They withered because their because their roots weren't deep enough. Other seeds were planted among thorn bushes, and the and, and the thorn bushes grew up and choked them. But other seeds were planted on good ground and produced grain. They produced one 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 hundred sixty or 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 thirty times as much. As was planted, let the person who has ears listen. The disciples asked him, "Why do why do you 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 use stories as illustrations when when you speak to people?" Jesus answered. Jesus and answered answered, "Knowledge about knowledge about the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has has been given to you, but it has." Not bit, not been given to the crowd. Those those who understand these mysteries, these mysteries will be will be given more knowledge, and they and they will excel in in understanding them. However, some people don't don't understand these mysteries. Even even what even what they 
understand will will be taken away from them. That is why I speak to them this way. They see, but they are blind. They hear, but they don't listen. The but they don't listen. They don't even try to understand. So they so they so they make Isaiah's prophecy come true. You will hear clearly, but never understand. You will see clearly, but never but never comprehend. These people have become have become close-minded and hard of hearing. They have shut their eyes so that their eyes never see, their ears never hear, their minds, their minds never understand, and they never reach on to me for healing. Plus, all your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. I can guarantee this truth. Many prophets and many of God's people long to see what you see, but didn't. See. But didn't see it. To hear what to hear what you you hear, but didn't hear it. Listen to what the story about the farmer means. Someone hears. Someone hears the word about the kingdom, but doesn't understand it. The evil one comes at once and snatches away what was planted in him. This this is what this is what the seed. Planted along the road illustrates the seed planted on rocky ground is the person who hears the word and and accepts it at once with joy. Since since he since he since he does doesn't have any root any root he lasts only a little while when suffering or persecution comes along because of the word he immediately falls. From from faith, the seed planted among thorn bushes is another person who hears the word. But the worries of life and the and the deceitful pleasures of riches choke the word so that it so that it can't produce anything. But the seed planted on good ground is the is the person who hears and understands the word. This ty- this type produces crops. They produce one. One 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 hundred sixty or thirty times as much as was planted. It was planted. A story about weeds in the wheat. Jesus used another illustration. He said, "The kingdom of heaven is like a a man who 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 planted good seed in his field, but but while people were asleep, his enemy planted weeds in the wheat field and went away." When when the wheat came up came up and from and from corners weeds appeared. The owner's workers came to him and asked, "Sir, didn't you didn't you didn't you plant good seed in your field? Where did the weeds come from?" He told them, "An enemy did this." His workers asked him, "Do you want us to do you want us to 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 pull out the weeds?" He replied, "No." If you pull out the weeds, you may you may pull out the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. When the grain is cut, I would tell the workers to gather to gather the weeds first and tie them in bundles to be born. But I will, but I will, but I will have them have them bring bring the wheat into my barn. Into my barn. After doctors diagnosed their firstborn son with autism, Diana D O K K O Kim and her husband and her husband grieved, facing a lifetime of caring for a cognitively disabled child. In her book on broken faith, she admits. To to struggle to struggling to struggling with 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 adjusting their dreams and expectations for their beloved son's future. Yet through this painful process, they learn that God can handle their anger, doubts, and fears. Now, with the, with the son reaching adulthood, Diana uses her experiences to encourage parents of children with special needs. She tells others about God's unbreakable promises, limitless power, and loving faithfulness. And loving faithfulness. She, 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 she 
or shows people that that he gives that he gives us permission to grieve when when we experience the death of a dream and expectation, a way or a season of life. In Isaiah chapter twenty six, the prophet declares that God's people can trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord is the is the rock eternal. Verse four. He is able to sustain us with supernatural peace in every situation. Verse twelve, focusing on his on his unchanging character and crying out to him during troublesome during troublesome times, we vitalizes our hope. Verse fifteen, when we face any loss, disappointment, or difficult circumstance, God invites us to be honest with him. He can. He can handle our 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 ever changing emotions and our questions, and our questions. He will he remains with us and refreshes our spirits with enduring hope, even when we we feel like our lives are falling apart. God can make our faith unbreakable. Have you ever struggled? With being honest with with God, when life when life feels overwhelmed, how has how has God how has God helped you deal with the death of a dream or expectation? Loving God, please help me believe you can you can always be trusted with with my honest emotions. Okay, that's all. Bye.